Hello everyone, and welcome back to another 1v1, where it's me against the game for one time only, and this time, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, a Fiona's Tale, which is making me very happy. Fiona is my favorite mythical Pokemon, it's so adorable and cute, yet it always gets the short end of the stick by just being called a worse Manaphy. So seeing a fan game for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon... Uh, where Fione is the main character makes me very, very happy. Now, the creators of the game and the credits are all down in the description. I'll put them up on the screen right now as well. All these amazing people worked at it really hard. And I'm really excited to, to play this game. They said it's about three to four hours long. I think we'll just play the first half hour, maybe an hour long, depending on how it goes. Just to give you all a taste of this fan game. I will also put the tweet in um, the description down below to where you can get this game. Please be sure to check it out and just enjoy this ride along with me because I'm, look I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Let's just start our game. Pick a dungeon difficulty. I think I'll go for normal. Would you like to activate anything? What are these modes? <laughs> Support modes will provide three Reviver Seeds, one Orum Berry, and one Max Elixir when losing. PF, Power Friendship mode, won't allow any team members to faint. If you've never tried a mystery dungeon before, you should go with PF mode. Uh, I think we'll play normally. I've played a, quite a few mystery dungeons. Remember that these settings can be changed at any time through a Kangaskhan's rock. Okay. Fione. Dear Fione. I'm so sorry. I was careless. If you're still here and can hear my words, forgive me, Fione. Fione! 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 Wake up already! Ooh, ooh, what's wrong? Your head's wrong. Did you forget how important today is? T today huh? Fione knows! Today's the day we're getting orange berries for free! <laughs> right? Uh, right? How can you... Oh, never mind, you're hopeless. Kyogre has finally made up his mind about seeding the Sea Guardian's role to a new Pokémon. Does that ring any bells? Yeah... Sounds like he did know, but didn't want to accept it. We all feel the same, really. But this is about our duty, you know? They're waiting for us at the depths of the Relic Sea. Take care not to doze off again, okay? Do you think... Do you think they'll be a good person? We don't know that. I sure hope so. We'll be serving them from now on after all. Oh, cheer up. We've got some berries to eat along the way. Alright. Wow, I just gotta say... That portrait for our Fiona, you can see it on the upper screen right now. I... Love... When characters have, like... Thick eyebrows. And Fione has, like, the little dots, as you can see with the other two. Uh, which is okay, but ha giving us, like, thicker eyebrows and bigger eyes just makes it instantly really adorable for me. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Uh, let's look around the room, because this is our room, I guess. And that's where the other two Fione sleep. Uh, we got a wall right over here. What's that thing? A brand new decoration for my house! Seekers brought it here. Fione doesn't think Seekerns can carry away stuff this heavy. Don't lie to Fione. Okay, I'll confess. I was the one who brought it here, thinking it had contained some treasure. But it was just empty. I'd rather use it as some kind of storage. Ugh, congratulations on your new closet, then. Oh, I love the sassy Fione. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, man. What would you like to do? Okay, we can save our game, change the game mode, and check our storage. Nothing we need to do right now. Oh, it's a Finneon. I love Finneon. Are you leaving, little Fione? Take this with you. Whoa, we got Reviver Seed and Max Elixir. Oh, Fione won't get hungry with these. Do we have a Snaggle Tooth? Like a little, little, little tooth there? Oh, I love it. Oh, uh, I love, I love Finneon as well. Luminion too. Already... Really good Pokemon, really good writing, and really good uh, sprite work over here. I love it. 
Let's go to the Relic Sea. All right, this is a mystery dungeon game. Whoa, okay. Jeez. A spin-off of the regular game series. Right here, um, it's more story focused than anything else. The dungeons, um, it's 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 so different from normal gameplay. So sorry, other Fiona. Basically, you attack Pokemon in the overworld, just like that, um, what do you call that, Starmie over there. You can use a normal attack just like this, which doesn't require any PP. Or, you can summon up your moves. We've got Bubble Beam, Energy Ball, Supersonic, and Blizzard. Uh, moves work a little differently here in Mystery Dungeon games. For instance, Energy Ball, it shoots the overworld, and sometimes they can just go throughout entire rooms or cover entire rooms and deal damage to every Pokemon within. But that's just the way it is. I think that's really cool. Honestly, I've wanted to play a mystery dungeon game on the channel for a while now, but I wasn't too sure on whether or not it would really work as a format because uh, while in the beginning, dungeons of mystery dungeon games can be pretty okay in size, ranging from like three to 10 floors, Later on in the in the games, they get so incredibly big that you're in there for like 40 or 50 uh, floors at a time at the end of the game. And, well, oh, sheesh, I'm sorry. And then it starts getting really repetitive. Even the latest Mystery Dungeon game that we got had like an auto mode where it just goes along the room on its own and starts attacking things. And while it sounds like it's like, oh, you don't get to play the game, it was actually really nice to have. But at that point, um, is it really a game you want to watch someone play if, it, if the auto mode is the best way to play, you know? So having a little condensed adventure like this, where it's like a fan game uh, of a couple of hours with a fresh new story, I think this will do a little bit better than playing a full um, mystery dungeon game. Oh, that Celio God is good. It's a shame we only have one move that is super effective. I would love to use more of our other moves, but they're all not very effective. I guess grab the items. As you can see, fighting the Pokemon, grabbing items, and getting to the next floor is basically what this game is. We got the no aim scope. Uh, let's see what that is. Uh, makes throws go wild. I don't think I want that. But a Relicanth over there. I love Relicanth too. There's so many Pokemon I love, but you hardly really get to see. Oh, we got a special Pokemart where we can buy a uh, several items. I don't think we have any money, do we? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we have 50. Not that we really need anything right now. So I think we're fine. Sorry, Kekleana, no sales for you today. We'll just let Sleeping Marini lie. Whoa. Wrap? Oh, that's not good. We can't really move anything right now. Uh, let's just do normal moves and let our team members from behind us maybe attack. There we go. Alright, now where are those stairs? Uh, maybe down here? Yeah, as you can see, this already is a part where you're just moving to the end of the stairs. There's not really anything that happens, but... In dungeons, there sometimes is like a halfway point in a dungeon where you can save and take a breather and talk to your team members. Um, but unless you're doing like a story mode for a mystery dungeon game, there's usually nothing much in between there. So it's more like we're trying gameplay and grabbing stuff we can sell or use later on. Hmm. To me, one of the most fun mechanics of mystery dungeon games is that you can recruit other Pokemon into... Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Sheesh. Alright, uh, as I was saying, things I like most is recruiting into what is usually like a guild or a group of your own, and then just, you know, getting all the Pokemon on your side or, like, your favorite ones. I think it's super fun when games allow you to do that, to recruit other things at your own pace. And also, um, not in like a story way, so oh, everyone gets every Pokemon. No, you can farm a Pokemon you really like, you can have a different experience than that of your friends. I really like it when, what I mean, when games do that. 
So I'm wondering if um, this game does something like that. I am unsure. Oh, jeez. Explosion. That hurts. All right. Uh, we got to get out of that space there. All right, everyone. Don't walk on it. Don't do it! Why did they do that? Oh man, my Fione friends are not the brightest. Let me just go for Blizzard on Oh, Supersonic. Oh, that works. Um, Bubble Beam. Right. Oh, come on, all these traps in here. They're invisible too, so there's nothing I can do about it. In some games where there's traps, you can actually get like special skills where you don't detonate them, but you see them. Uh, that sure would be nice over here. Nice, there you go. Now, where is the I wonder how many floors this particular dungeon has. Usually the first dungeon in a game is not too long. And it does seem to be very helpful that we have two level 42 uh, Fione friends with us. Let's see. Alright, 7F. Still going strong. Not sure what this deep breathing stuff does. Hmm. Alright, we'll just speed up a little bit, see if we can find out where these floors are. Oh, actually, I can walk through water. Some Pokemon can just do that, walk through water, through fire, depending on your type. Everything has their own little special thing they can do. Oh, come on! We got poisoned again. Got a twist back. We got quite a few items right now. Uh, can I just... There we go. A twist bend. Maintains attack and special attack, I suppose. I think I'll just give that to myself. And what else do we got here? No aim scope. Gravel rocks. Apples, orange berries. I think we're doing pretty good with what we have. Alright, let's move on. Alright, 8th floor already. Uh, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth, so we'll just grab these items and go on. Alright. Still breathing deep. Hmm. Well, easy again. 10F. We should be getting close by now, right? Got some sticks. It's a throwable item that deals damage. Hello, Vaporeon. I shall use Energy Ball. Once more. Oh, miss. Because we got sand attacked earlier. I think I'll just use tackles like this. There we go. That has been dealt with. Now. Ooh, alright. We'll grab that. And proceed. There we go. The, that is... The new Guardian? Sublugia? Oh. The Fione. Um, um... Wonderful! It is my pleasure to meet all of you. I am Lugia. You are correct. I am the new guardian. Oh, Big Bird! B bird, you say? I am no bird. Ah! I beg your pardon. She's not okay in the head. That is all right. That would make her quite sincere, at least. Looks nice! Sure, just try not to mess up anymore. Leave it to us. We've gotta be polite. It's our pleasure. We'll do our very best to protect these seas. <laughs> I am certain that you will. The former Guardian must have been proud. It is a shame your help will no longer be needed, however. I still hope you will pray for everyone's safety. No longer needed? Are we out of a job? They don't took our jobs! What do you mean, Master Lugia? Oh no, no master, please. You're all fired. Excuse you? What do we do? Is it our friend's fault? It won't happen again. That is not the case. I simply see no reason why I should not be working by myself. So, congratulations. You may do as you please, as long as you do not become a burden to me. 
you, you can't do that. Oh, that face looks a little, uh, <laughs> looks a little off, but I like it. It's our duty. Your duty conflicts my interests. Now be gone. We won't be a bother. Oh, I love this one, though. We'll accomplish anything you ask us to. How am I to trust you after what the other Guardian did? Also, did I not ask you to leave? My patience is growing thin. It's been our job for a very long time. We're up to the task. If you don't trust us, go ahead and put us to the test. It is none of my business that you have no other hobbies. Why not try something new and start collecting seashells? If you don't let us keep our job, we'll tell Kyogre. <laughs> and he'll replace you for sure. His Majesty, he couldn't possibly care about this, could he? Early complaints could get me as <laughs> bad first impressions as Guardian. Very well. I shall put you to the test, as you said. Did that really work? Go find Badoo Doo, Surskit Syrup, and Snover Berries before the night falls, and I will allow you to assist me. Sure! Consider it done. But those items, aren't they in three places afar from each other? We won't make it in time. Unless you split up. He has no intention of letting us help, but we won't give up easily. We'll have to split up, as he said. Fione, can you take care of the Badoo's do? <laughs> yeah! Fione will do her best. Good. We'll all gather here once we're done. There's no time to waste. You. A moment. Have this. His Majesty allowed me to keep the Guardian's possessions, but I find no use for it. <gasps> oh, this is... As I said, something I do not need. Keep it for yourself if you find it pretty. Th thanks Master! Fiona will treasure it! Make no mistake, I am merely disposing of it. Plus, I am not your master. Oh. <sighs> so then, Fione went to the island where Badu inhabit. Um, did I arrive? Huh? Someone's there. Looking at those little pixels right there, I'm gonna wager a guess. It might be a Steenie. Oh! Perhaps Fiona can ask about Badu. Yep, it's a Steenie. Hello! Do you know someone called Badu? Hmm? Hello? Can you hear Fiona? Oh, you're just so cute! Yeah. You say that about Fione? Who else? You're adorable! What's your name? I'm Steeny. Where'd you come from? What's that ribbon? Did you buy it? Where? Do you like flowers? Berries? Yeah, if yes, what's your favorite kind? Are you in love? Do you have a boyfriend? Don't tell me you're part of a rescue team. That'd be so cool. Do you know Team Charm? You can't not know Team Charm. They're famous. I want to be like them. A strong, smart, and pretty explorer. Um, Fiona believes she said her name a couple of times and forgot the rest of the questions. And she was the first asking. Oh, I'm so sorry. I talked for too long, right? Forgive me. Let's see. But do. Right, there should be some of the depths of the fragrant jungle. It's that way, see? Got it, thanks. Wait, 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 wait! You're going alone? The jungle is quite dangerous. Let me go with you. I'll guide you. 
and I'll stay quiet. You know, truth is, Fiona doesn't mind some talk. <laughs> as long as questions come one by one. Really? I'm so happy! I'll think of even more questions for you then. Oh. Fiona isn't sure if she's happy to have someone by her side or not. Alright, looks like we got a new friend in the form of Steeny, also level 42. We can prepare our story. Let's see, let's... Can I just store everything? Uh, I think there was a button for that. There we go. I want to store everything. And then I'll take out what I need. Yes, store. Okay, so I definitely want some Orem Berries long. Um, let's see. I want to have a Totter Orb. And another Orem Bear. It's not even says. Wash it with the stairway. That could be useful. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Take. Wait, did I just store everything else? Hold on. I think I might have messed that up. Uh, excuse me. There you go. Orn, Pure, Reviver, Totter. Yeah, this is fine. I'm fine. Never mind at all. What do you have to say? Let's go, Fione! I thought about 20 more questions for you to answer. 20? <laughs> Aw, I love these two already. Aw, oh, man, the writing is so good. It's so simple, it's so fun. Alright, let's go through the dungeon. If the last dungeon is anything to go by, we can expect about... Oh, charm. Uh, let's see, about 10 floors? I'm hoping. We are at uh, 22 minutes. Okay, that's just still fine. Man, this thing. I love Teddy Ursa, but man, it was really messing us up pretty good. Okay, let's hope we can actually get to do this in time so that Lugia can uh, keep us as... What is going on back there? Man, there was something going on. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Down here, perhaps? No. Okay, so the thing is, I could walk over water like I said earlier, but Steeny cannot. So I can just kind of weave through all the places here and avoid people. But I, in the process, I do leave Steeny behind. And as you can see, action still happens whether we're there or not. You can turn that option off to whether we see it or not, uh, as, as we are. But, uh, man, Steeny is getting messed up. Um, Ormberry eats Steeny. There you go. But yeah, generally, you want to try and stick together with your friends. Otherwise, you're in a boatload of trouble. So, we won't be cutting through the waterways as much as before. Uh, we got a beedrill over there. How about we use our blizzards? There you go, that went really well. Oh, and another set of stairs. Why is the music changing every other floor? I don't mind it, but... This sounds very, uh, very nice. But I guess... Yep, it's moving already. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow, I mean, we're cruising on through. Which I don't mind. This is more of a classic mystery dungeon theme. Whoa, it's a Gudra. Uh, we better use an ice attack. That'll be super effective. Once more. No, it missed. Uh-oh. That could hurt. Once more? Come on, hit that Gudra. There we go. Um, I hope it doesn't pick up on the microphone because people are doing some construction outside, I just heard. If it does pick up, I'll try and see if I can uh, mute it out a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about the change in music every floor. I'd rather have it be one tune. Uh, let's see. Well, there's nothing over here. I like these nice big rooms. They cover a lot of grounds for me to just quickly check and see if there's anything interesting. Oh, that's the thing that was happening earlier. She's using Bullet Seed, which is one of the most overpowered moves in the entire series. As you can imagine, a Pokémon that knows a multi-hit move is amazing because, as normal, you can just attack once per turn. But multi-hit moves deal insane damage because they can attack two to five times and they still do as much damage as a regular move most of the time. 
Ugh, it's so amazing. So it's good that Steeny has it. She might use it here again. Oh, she's using it on... The Gloom. That was just 45 damage per hit on that Gloom, which is simply amazing. That is not the move I wanted to use. I made a mistake. There we go. Yeah, multi-hit moves are the best. If you're ever having trouble in a Mystery Dungeon game, uh, consider getting like a Grass Starter because they can learn Bullet Seed most of the time and that, that deals just so much damage. There's still the type chart to, uh, to consider, but you know, doesn't matter all that much when you just hit five times. Uh, let's see. A Warp Seed, huh? Oh, that's not good. Let's go for Blizzard! Yeah, that dealt a lot of damage. Well, goodbye, Superior. Oh, Steenie, you got this. There we go. Uh, let's see. We've been kind of cruising through this dungeon. It didn't help that we didn't see anything uh, for like four entire floors and we could just get to the, uh, whatchamacall that, the stairs as soon as we could. Oh, there is another one. Uh, big map. Okay. <laughs> if this is 10 floors, I can just eat a pure seed right now. Chomp. Bye. Water pulse that doesn't do you for us. Ho ho ho! And another pure seed. Bye! Oh, nice scent headbutt. And a swift. Swiftly taken care of, I'd say. You're in my way. Uh, I guess I'll just use Blizzard. Giga Drain. Oh, no! Hmm. I have an idea. In these cases, we can... We have this Warp Seed. And it says it warps a Pokemon. We could eat it and warp ourselves. Or I could throw it to Superior and force him to eat it. Goodbye. Ha ha! How's that for a smart idea, huh? Yeah, that worked pretty well. Alright. Let's see where... The last, maybe, pair of stairs are? Sheesh. Derfion goes with the... Uh, oh, I love Appleton. It's so cute. Flapple is okay and all, but... Appleton is just baby. Bye! Oh, this is one of those halfway points I was talking about earlier. I see! So Logia is testing you and you need Badoo Doo to pass. Yeah... How dare he do that to you? It's suspicious! Gives me the creeps! Well, Fiona can understand he has his reasons. Ignore him is what you have to do! You don't need a fat bird to tell you how to protect people! Do it by yourselves! It's not that easy. We made a vow before Kyogre and the Last Guardian. We promised to protect the sea until the end of it, our, our days. But there's no way we can do it alone. Storms, dangerous Pokemon, opposite to a powerful Guardian. There's no way we can keep track of them all. Also, helping people is in Fione's nature. Fione can't refuse the purpose of its own existence. But that's quite sad. Will you be okay depending on someone so much for the rest of your lives? Fiona doesn't care. As long as the sea is in peace. If you say so. We're almost there. It's just a bit further. Come on, one final push. Yep, just like I said, just a little bit of story in between after 10 floors. Which went by pretty fast this time around, but it could have gone, could have gone a lot worse. We could just take a quick drink. Hmm. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have anything I want to store right now? Let me just... Oops. There we go. Um, plain Seed can go. Violent Seed. Maximize attack and special attack. You can imagine that something like that is going to be very useful if you ever encounter a boss. Um, I think that is just... L mm, all hits, boost critical hit ratios. Don't want that right now. Clean sticky items. Decoy might be useful. Identify, no, thank you. One AK is a target, that would be great, but there we go. I don't think that's ever going to happen on a boss. 
to do it just ahead. Let's go. I think that's a great idea. Fione is ready, yes. The Fragan Jungle Depths. Loving this map, by the way. I love those walls. Thick brush. I don't expect to see much water here. Uh, well, me and my big mouth, am I right? I was just about to say I don't expect to see much water here in this thick jungle uh, vibes we have going on now. But as I said it, lo and behold, a whole bunch of water. No, we won't switch places. If we switch places, she will teleport away. Because she can't swim. Uh, energy ball. No, nah, might my, my be better to use bubble beam. Yeah. Let's see. I wonder if the depths are a 10 floor situation as well. Man, I thought it would go down here because it was like, oh, there's more room at the bottom of the map. But I sure was mistaken. Uh, let's just check down here then. Oh, Cini is fighting again. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I think I could actually unselect some of her moves so that she will just use the best moves in her arsenal. Because Bullet Seed and Giga Drain are going to be most useful. So she can either heal or deal a lot of damage. And that way you can kind of make sure what's going on. Oh, it's a Volbeat. Okay. I was kind of concerned, like, what was that? It's kind of like a chubby little guy. I love him, though. Uh, just some Poke over here. I haven't really seen anything besides the odd Kecleon shop here and there to spend our money, but I'll pick it up. Yeah. Ooh, frozen solid. Hmm. Bubble beam. Excuse me. Oh, it, it just won't? Oh. Well then, it seems like I cannot damage a Pokemon that has been frozen solid, which kind of ruins the point of freezing so- Whoa, okay. There you go, Bullet Seed. Uh-oh. Steeny was defeated. She just gone? We had Reviver Seeds, didn't we? That didn't go well. Fiona could should be more careful. Yeah, I should probably just have her in the team. But you know what? I think this was a good taste of the game. Will Fiona get the Badoo do in time along with the friends? Is Lugia ever going to accept her and her friends as fellow guardians? I think you're just going to have to find out for your own. All the information for this fun game are in the description down below, just as the credits. Thank you so much for allowing me to play this game, a little taste of it, uh, and put it on YouTube. I really enjoyed myself. I, might I, I think I'll continue playing this in my own time, to be very honest. All right. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more 1v1. But until then, bye-bye!